Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time I've got another figure that I picked up from Star Wars Celebration. This is the Mafex Kylo Ren uh, from Medicom Toys. And this is the first one I've actually picked up of uh, the, the Japanese import figures. And this one is actually well, probably one of my favorite figures in my collection period now. Um, I'm super impressed by this thing. And uh, yeah, look, I love the Black Series Kylo Ren, but for something else, this is awesome um and i don't have the figure arts one to sort of compare to i would i would have liked to have picked that one up at one stage but i'm really really happy about this one i remember seeing it seeing the preview pictures um because he comes unmasked as well he's got a swappable head and i was absolutely blown away by this thing when i um first saw it so um i'm in a different room today i'm trying something different i sort of made a little bit more room out on my desk um I got rid of the desk that was in my Star Wars room, so um, so I'm trying to do my my videos out in the computer room. Um, so you might hear the dogs sort of walk past or something. Hopefully they don't carry on too much. But yeah, onto the figure. Um, we'll have a look at the box first. As you can see in the background, you can see there's me in the reflection. Hello. Um, so we're down the front here, we've got Star Wars, it's number 27. Um, they haven't done a massive amount of Star Wars figures yet, but I'm looking forward to the Ray, which is starting to sort of come out now. Um, from what I'm seeing on eBay, I know a lot of the online retailers haven't quite got it yet, but I'll be picking it up to go with this one for sure. Um, she looks fantastic. Um, there's a cool picture of Kylo of the figure on the front there. On the side of the box. On the back, so when I first saw that picture there of Kylo, I was like, I've got to have this figure, and uh, I finally decided to grab it while I was at a celebration. So he comes with a Darth Vader trashed helmet, lightsaber, lightsaber hilt. He actually comes with two hilts, and I'll show them after. And he comes with a really good bunch of accessories, but on the box, all different languages and stuff. And the side, so it's quite a nice box. I like the way the these companies are doing their figures. They're very nice and simple, like the uh, SH Fig Arts boxes. They're they're nice and compact. This one's a little bit bigger, but uh, I really really like this figure. So let's uh, zoom up a little bit. I'll just shuffle the camera around. So uh, yeah, this thing is kick ass in so many ways. Just the detail, the articulation comes with the stand, help him stand up. He probably doesn't need it, but I'm gonna use it because I like I like the stand. But uh yeah, so I'll quickly go around. The soft goods look good. This uh his sort of plastic throwover, his sort of throwover scarf wrap thing is molded absolutely amazingly. Um, you can sort of see all the frayed bits in the fabric around the back. It's fantastic. Um, he comes with, I'm trying to work out his sets of hands here. He's got uh, three pairs of hands, uh, four pairs of hands, including the ones on the figure at the moment. And the lightsaber, the lit blade, just that sort of roughness to it. That's actually quite a sharp tip too, if you look there. Um, and they're quite quite pointy too, so you want to be careful with them. But uh, the lightsaber itself is fantastic, and the, one of the dogs wants to play with the toy, so good timing, dog. The helmet is absolutely amazing. Just the paint finish, and just, oh, I just love the way the head moves. He's got two different joints, so he's sort of dart his head forward a bit more. That really um, sinister looking pose. It's fantastic. So as you can see, he's got one hand holding a lightsaber and he has another lightsaber holding hand for the, for the opposite hand. And another sort of force pushing hand for the other, for the other hand. So he's got a pair of those. Um, a pair of just sort of semi, just plain sort of open hands. He just, if he's walking, not doing anything. 
um, two fisted hands, which actually look quite good. You know, when, when he's having a bit of a rage fit and he gets a bit tense and balls up his fist. Um, so his lightsaber blades, I'm gonna take the figure out of the stand. All right, so the lightsaber hilt here, this one, as you can see, has got two pegs. That just will, that will pop nicely onto his belt. I say that, <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, I want it to. There we go, so that, that holds in there reasonably well. Looks nice. So you can display them like that, or just a simple unlit hilt. I'll we'll try and get nice and close to this. The uh, details are pretty, pretty much the same with the lit blade. And my camera should be picking most of that up. So hopefully for you guys watching at home, or in your homes, it's quite, quite impressive. Now the other accessory he comes with is, as I pointed out, the Darth Vader helmet. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the Hasbro one, but uh, they've sort of gone into a bit more detail on the bottom. But uh, I'll be honest, I think I prefer the Hasbro one to this. This is still pretty good. We come to the unmasked Kylo head. I think it's reasonably good for the for the most part. Sort of the light does shine on a bit brightly. You know, under his hood it looks quite good. It's the hair is sculpted really nicely. And uh, I feel like they do the um sort of laser printed paint apps as opposed to them being sort of paint they're sort of printed on with a laser printer so they get the most accurate finish you look at the faces on the SH figure arts figures and there you can actually see the pixels on them if you look close enough this one uh, maybe fractionally whereas Hasbro sort of rely on paint machines to sort of line up with the molds um, these guys obviously rely on the digital painting method or however they do it. I'd, I'd be interested to find out more about it. But I think he looks reasonably good. I um, feel like his skin could probably be a little bit paler. Um, maybe have a bit more of a sinister looking furrow in his brow. Um, he's sort of just a little bit plain faced. And looks like my camera's dying, so we'll see how far we get. But just overall, this figure is so impressive. You can take the soft goods off. Um, I haven't done it. The head does pop off quite easily. Let me swap it over. such a nice figure the articulation is outstanding throughout this thing I can't I honestly cannot name uh, all the joints in this thing because you know there's three joints three or four joints just in that neck but um you know, you know double joints everywhere there's hinges there's ball joints there's all sorts the soft goods are super impressive they're nice and thick they've got you know double length stitching so that's it's, it's a tough sturdy fabric you can almost pose it in a way so there may be a wire in there but it doesn't feel like it but you can certainly pose it up a little bit um but underneath that sort of underskirt it's plastic it's quite a malleable plastic the knee joints fantastic the ankle joints are great the toe joint all over just a fantastic figure I definitely recommend it um, I can't wait to get the ray but um, 
Yeah, absolutely. One of my favorite figures in my collection. Now, probably one of my most expensive. Um, being that I haven't delved into Hot Toys yet, but uh, <laughs> that may come one day. I won't say I never will because it's it's bound to happen at some stage. But uh, for now, this one and the uh, Samurai Vader I've got a celebration. Probably my most expensive figures at the moment. But uh, this is an absolutely amazing piece. So thank you very much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Drop any comments down below. Um, I hope you've enjoyed a look at this figure. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm really, really impressed with it. Just the details. I hope my camera's been able to show it off for you enough, despite the fact that I haven't really said a great deal. But, uh, yeah, it's certainly, Kylo's certainly an imposing figure imposing character it just looks so good <laughs> anyway guys like I said drop comments below and uh, let me know what you thought and uh, I'll be back with some more videos very soon so until then stay tuned and may the force be with you